Hey guys, this is Mike Tarallo with Click. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to our new Dropbox connector and give you a new technique that will allow you to store data files within Dropbox and then automatically refresh those files in Dropbox so when you refresh your ClickSense Cloud app, the data will be the latest. Let me give you an example. I have a data file here which has some order statuses and you can see that some of them are pending and some are complete. Let's just take this particular order status and change it from pending to complete and I'm going to save the file. So this is my source data on my local machine or server for example. Now I'm going to go back to a user view of the app that's already been published to my sales stream which is available to a member from the sales workspace who's part of ClickSense Cloud Business. So I'm just going to click on this app and I'm going to click on the sheet and you can see we have 41 pending and 3,625 complete. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to run a task which is something nothing more than a simple X copy statement. So this task is actually kicking off this command file which is running a command line copy statement which copies the source file directly to the Dropbox data folder that is set up on this machine here. And you could choose to do this many different ways. This is just the way I chose to do this. And then I'm going to right click and click run to manually initiate that. So now the updated file has been copied to Dropbox. So now with the app that's been created with the Dropbox connector, if we simulate a scheduled refresh, so you can schedule a published data refresh, well let's just refresh it automatically. And now you can see that this app is in a refresh state. So this is my work area and I've already published this to the sales stream which you can see is available here. Now that data has been refreshed so let's simulate our user and I'm just going to refresh this app and you're going to see now pending is now 40 and our complete will be incremented by one. And there you go. 40 pending, 3,626 complete. So let me give you a quick example of how I set this up. Okay, so I have a shell of an app here already created to simulate what we're going to do here. So let's click on this app that I've already created. Now it doesn't have any data connections in it. Okay, add data from files and other sources. And then select Dropbox. Now you're going to see here we allow you to authenticate. Now I'm already logged in on my browser using my credentials. So we just have to allow access. And this uses token authentication. I'm going to copy that token to the clipboard, go back to my connector, paste it in, click verify, and then click create. Now I have authorized access to go to the Dropbox of my choice for my login credentials. So here's my data folder, and there's my orders data, and I'm just going to select the default columns and tables and add that data. Okay, now that that data has been added, I'm just going to click load data and then edit the sheet. Okay, now we have our KPIs that show us the count of status, in this case 40, and then 3,626 complete. So that's the app. The app is created. It's accessing that orders file that is on Dropbox right now. So for reference, if we go to the, like the source and destination folders on this particular machine here, here's my source folder and here's my destination folder. So basically we're just going to automate a process that's going to take this file and drop it and overwrite it. And the way I did that is I created just a simple command file using the xcopy statement. And here I'm copying orders.xls to the C drive, which is the representation of where Dropbox is. So that is going to now be kicked off by Task Scheduler. And you can see I just created a task here that basically copy files, I named it, daily at 11 a.m., actions, start a program. And that's it. So just to reiterate that again, if we have our source file, which is located in the sample directory, going to change that pending status to complete, click save, and then kick off the schedule. Now that new file is being copied over to the Dropbox location. Let's go back to the Cloud Hub. And 
let's publish that app. I'm going to publish it to the sales stream. Again, for those of you, if you might have forgotten, this is for ClickSense Cloud Business. Now we have the latest data that has been published directly to that. Right click, schedule publish data refresh. We can say do it daily at let's say 12 or whatever time interval you want. In this case here, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna simulate a, a push automatically. I could right click and say refresh publish data, etc. And then the user, when they refresh their app or they go into their app, they'll have the latest updated data. And there you go. Okay, so just wanted to give you a quick technique on how you could use the Dropbox connector that comes with ClickSense Cloud Business. Uh, should be available shortly to our subscribers. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them where this video is posted. Please like and subscribe and check out these other great resources to help you learn more about Click and ClickSense. Thanks for your time, guys. I'll see you on the next video.